everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it would be fun to do a little vlog style video. As you saw in the title, this is a pack with me and I announced on my Instagram a few days ago that I am moving to Ann Arbor, Michigan for the rest of the summer. As an intern for Car and Driver, I'm super, super excited and so incredibly thankful for this opportunity. I know that sounds cheesy, but like, honestly, this is kind of my dream internship and like, at age 20 to be able to like get to do this is insane. So I leave in three days um, and it still doesn't feel real, but it is time for me to pack up my stuff for the next month and a half, um, which is going to be a very daunting task. I've never done anything like this. So we are going to attempt it and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. If you're new to my channel, my name is Emery Eisen. Make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications to see my new videos and stuff if you like my hashtag content. And also follow me down below on all my social medias to really keep in touch with me. That's what I'm supposed to say, right? <laughs> so I guess the first thing that I need to do is make sure that this huge suitcase even fits in my car uh, because this car is pretty new to me and has a really small trunk. So I don't know if it'll actually fit. <laughs> Look at that. I've got tons of room to spare, I'll be fine. Hello again. So packing yesterday didn't really happen. Um, I ended up deep cleaning my room instead because I was like, you know, I I need to go through and like make sure that I've got everything that I need. And I really don't want to come back to a room that's still kind of like disheveled. So that took me pretty much all day. And then today I've had like an orthodontist appointment and I rescheduled my dinner with my friend for today. So I still haven't even begun to pack and it's like 6 p.m. now. Um, but then that's what I'm gonna do tonight and I'm probably gonna stay up really late doing that because tomorrow is the 4th of July and obviously I don't want to spend all day packing inside. Um, but yeah, uh, life is crazy. I feel like I was saying this to Ben. Um, I feel like my life right now is like opening a, like a cabinet of like dishes and like one falls out and you're like, oh, I can catch that and then they just all fall and you're like trying to catch them all. That's kind of how I feel like my life is right now. But again, it's all... Anne is filming me, um, but I feel like hopefully it'll all calm down soon. But yes, tonight is the night I have to pack. I literally don't have any other time to pack and I'm kind of stressed out just a little bit. Uh. So I've had the idea and pardon my makeupless face, it's kind of late at night now, to do a capsule wardrobe. Um, I've heard about these. I've always thought it's kind of a cool idea, but I've never been like committed enough to try one, which is basically like a full like minimalist wardrobe where you have like 10 tops like 10 pairs of pants and like five pairs of shoes um but i think i might do something where i bring like 20 tops 10 pairs of pants and like five pairs of shoes i feel like that would be really doable um and then i might even make a video like i tried a capsule wardrobe for the summer and here are my thoughts on it so now that means i have to go through this whole stack of clothes and decide which ones I wanna bring and which ones I don't. Okay, so this stack here of things that I might wanna bring with me is 24 tops. So if I'm doing the capsule wardrobe with 20 items, that means I only have to get rid of four, which was surprisingly easy. Like, I like all of these. And I don't know, it's kinda easy to narrow it down. So I feel like something, something might be amiss here. So I guess I overshot my counting a little bit, but now I get to select the four that I don't want to bring. So I decided against this one. For some reason, like, I really like this shirt, but like, every time I want to wear it, there's some reason that I decide not to. So I'm going to take that as a sign that I'm not actually going to wear it while I'm up there. And then now I have two graphic tees. So that means I can cut one. I really like this one. I feel like you wear that though. This one's more summery. So I think I'm gonna leave the Levi's one at home. Good. But I really like it. This is so hard. And you don't wear the Levi's one a lot. Like you. Oh, I haven't had it long. Oh, okay. But I just thought you haven't worn it. I can wear it the rest of the year. This one's very summery. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, I've officially narrowed it down to 20 shirts. At first I was like, oh, this is so easy. And now I'm like, I don't know. We're gonna see how this goes. I'm kind of scared. Like, I'm so nervous now that I'm gonna get up there and be like, but I wanna wear that shirt, but I left it at home. Yeah. This is an exercise in cutting down and less is more. These are the shirts that I've officially decided that I'm going to bring for like my everyday outfits. I'm also planning on bringing like all of my like Lululemon tank tops and like t-shirts and stuff. Hey Boo Boo, are you helping me pack? We have the, the Boo seal of approval. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> all right, let's find what pants I wanna wear. Go through my jeans. I think I wanna do, how many pairs of pants should I bring? 10? 5. 10? Yeah. We can do 10 and then narrow it down if we need to. Good call. Okay, so for pants, I've got 12, so I need to narrow two down. But I've got my light wash jeans from Levi's, and I'm guessing I'm probably going to cut out a pair of jeans just because it's hot and I don't need to wear, I don't need to bring that many long pants. Um, my wedgie jeans from Levi's. These really cool like satin leopard pants from Nasty Gal. These like gingham, black and white gingham pants from Target. These white like wide leg pants that are also from Target. My uh, ribcage straight jeans. I'm definitely bringing these. You guys know how much I've talked about these on my channel. Black high-waisted shorts, which are unbuttoned because I wore them yesterday. So obviously gonna bring these. Off-white kind of like chino shorts from H&M. My wedgie high-rise shorts from Levi's. My striped jeans from Ragged Bone. Black jeans that have like a really cool like frayed hem. I don't know if you can see that from Target. And last but not least, again, these really cool striped shorts that I got from Zara that I've literally had forever. I I think I've had these since like 2015 and I still really like them. So I think I'm gonna leave out the stripes, which means I'm saying goodbye to the striped jeans and goodbye to the striped shorts, which I don't know if I'm going to regret because otherwise it's literally all blue and black and white denim. But that's pretty much what I wear every day, so probably won't be too out of the ordinary. So I think I want to bring three skirts. First of which is my leopard print midi skirt from Nasty Gal. I didn't realize how many Nasty Gal things I have until I started packing for this. But honestly, I found some of my favorite pieces for the summer from there. Then my gingham skirt from Urban Outfitters that I really like. The only thing is I'm already bringing gingham pants, so I don't know if that's kind of repetitive. Um, but I really like this skirt still. Then I was trying to decide between my like pleather mini skirt or this one that's suede. Um, but I think I'm gonna go with this one because it matches a bit more and it's more like a daytime vibe. And then I guess I'll do five dresses, so let's go pick those out. All right, now here's for the hard part. I have to decide what shoes I want to bring. And I have way too many shoes as cat, <laughs> as you saw in my closet tour. Oh. All right, so for shoes, I'm kind of gonna have these as a little bit of a splurge item because I feel like they really add so much to an outfit and I'm really indecisive. So I'm bringing my Golden Goose Deluxe brand Superstars, these platform ones from uh, Nasty Gal my Doc Martin platform boots, my checkered vans, these like platform espadrilles from Nasty Gal, um, these mules from Target, these platforms also from Target, these from Vince Camuto, these are Nasty Gal, these from Sam Edelman, I almost said Sam Smith, and then that technically makes 11 with these, um, but like I said, I'm kind of gonna cheat as far as like athletic wear. Um, so these are my athletic sneakers that I'm going to add. So technically, not really, but I'm gonna say that's 10 pairs, which is still too much for a capsule wardrobe, I feel. But like I said, this is kind of like my one splurge item. 
So for scarves and stuff, I really don't know what the limit should be. Um, I'm just gonna dump this out and decide what to bring and what not to bring. So I definitely wanna bring this. I really like that little hair tie. Um, I like this one too. I like this one. This one, this one can stay at home. Kind of tropical. Um, this one can stay too. I want to bring this one. This one can also stay. It's kind of small. Well, maybe? No. Yes, no. I want to pack it. Oh my gosh. This one is huge, but it's also kind of like wintry. So this can stay at home. This guy can stay at home. I think I want to pack this headband. Um, this hot pink one can stay at home. These bandanas can also stay at home. I kind of want to pack that. <laughs> um, that can stay at home. That can stay at home. Mm, that can stay at home. This one's the same. This I want to take, this I want to take, this I want to take. Great, okay. I'm literally just going to bring my two main purses, this black one from Forever 21, and then this beige one from TJ Maxx that I put this little black tassel from H&M on. Now time to pick out jewelry. This will also be really hard to do. Let's see, hmm, hair clip? No, st stop, you don't need that. That's a no. That can stay behind. Um, Majuri star hoops, those can be a yes. Um, cute little bar earrings from Anthro. I'm packing a fair amount of jewelry, but then again, it is for a month and a half. Um, so I'm bringing five necklaces. I've got this one from Majuri. This one, I even remember where it's from, but I've had it forever. It's, I don't know, it's probably my favorite necklace. It just goes with everything. Um, this gold coin one, this star one from Target, and then lastly, this little one from Anthro a while ago um, that's got a little like sliver moon. A whole bunch of earrings. I've got these from Etsy. I don't know where these are from, but I've had them for a while. Some gold hoops. These are actually my mom's in high school, so these are hashtag vintage. Uh, tortoise hoops, Dalmatian Jasper, like semicircle hoops. Um, and then I've got my thin round hoops that I wear all the time. These more bold kind of like oval ones these star ones. I think these two are from Anthro and then these are from Target. Um, these statement earrings from Anthro that I've shown before. These from Madewell. Then I've got my tiny little Nova hoops uh, with little stars you can't really see but tiny little stars from Majuri. Some like medium-sized gold hoops from Madewell. And then another pair of my mom's old like square hoops. I think those are really cool. And then just a few bracelets. I'm not really a bracelet person. Um, I've got this Dalmatian Jasper one with a tassel and a little coin. This one from Madewell. And then these little like tassel ones that I got from Target a while ago. And then I also have these three sized hoops from Target. My little rainbow ones and then just some like faux diamond studs. I've gone ahead and hung up most of the clothes that I want to bring because instead of putting them in a suitcase like I regularly would, I'm going to use the trash bag hack. I'm sure you've probably seen this before, but 
it's just like instead of folding everything up and like or taking it off the hanger, you can literally oh no, I'm not taking this over. You can literally and <laughs> this is such a mess. You can literally put it in a trash bag and then uh just carry it with you. <laughs> I think I'm gonna give up. It was so easy last time. Oh my gosh. There we go. All of my clothes are in trash bags because they are trash and I feel like trash and I just want to go to bed. I'm having a mental breakdown on camera. Just kidding, it's not that bad. But. I really am ready to go to bed. I need to finish this up. <laughs> Gonna bring some swimsuits since my apartment complex has a rooftop pool. Ooh, fancy. And then finally get to utilize these packing cubes. So I've got my favorite gingham one from Target with these plain black bottoms. Um, another gingham one from Target that I really, really like. Go in there. This is really hard to do one-handed. Okay. Same matching bottoms. Um, this leopard one from Target that has high-waisted bottoms to go with it. And then this green and white polka dotted one from Target. And then lastly, white bottoms from Target with this top. Um, I actually don't remember where this is from. And it's kind of hard to show one-handed. It like ties like it crosses. Um, I wore it to the beach, so you might have seen that in my vlog. It's from the brand Pretty Little Thing. I think it might be from Revolve, but I'm not quite sure. All right, so it is now 3.11 a.m. and I was hoping to get everything all packed tonight, but I am so tired that I feel like I can't even like think clearly enough to um, like remember everything I need, let alone be able to make a good video. So I think I'm gonna call it a night and finish it tomorrow. Like I said, I really wanted to finish it today, um, but life is crazy. <laughs> that, that sounded really deep. Life is wild in the fact that I had an orthodontist appointment, I was catching up with an old friend, which I could have canceled, but like, why? I it's not worth it. Um, but anyway, um, I will see you guys tomorrow, and hopefully we will be able to finish it up and get everything all packed up into the car and like completely ready. Hello again, and good morning. I guess I sent. I can't talk. Hello again. Today is a new day. It is uh, bright and early, except that it's actually like 5 p.m. But it is the 4th of July, so I've got my red, white, and blue on, um, and I'm waiting until we go out to dinner. Um, I really haven't done anything today. Anne and I went and took some pictures, um, but now I'm going to pack until Ben gets here, and I might still keep packing once he's here, but we are going to continue, and we are going to get this done. So for shower stuff, Anne had the really smart idea to put them all in a lunchbox like this so that if they leak, they don't go anywhere. This one I've literally had forever. It's kind of gross there's like that stain there but i also plan on packing my lunches when i'm up there so it's kind of a double use thing We've got hair stuff, dry shampoo, styling cream, oil, temporary pink tint. I'm excited to use that. Deodorant. I really like this. I normally have used um, Old Spice forever, but this is the Mega Babe Daily Deodorant in the scent Mega Pits. Not Mega Pits. <laughs> Rosy Pits. Um, skincare. All of that. Don't need to go through it. Um, my Glossier U perfume. This is pretty much the one that I wear every day. Um, and then makeup will be easy to pack because I just have it all in my Caboodles case here. 
So all I have to do is fold that and then some like extra makeup items that I don't wear every day but I still want to bring like glitter eyeliner, this like glowy primer foundation, not foundation, uh, serum, like a lip injection, lip gloss, and then my mini hair dryer, and then a beach towel here. I just put it there so I wouldn't forget. It was surprisingly easy to get all of my like bathroom stuff. Um, like I said, I've got my shower stuff, hair dryer, makeup, uh, skincare, more makeup, and my brushes, everyday stuff, toothpaste, toothbrush, um, skincare, and then makeup wipes. And that's pretty much all I need belts let's see yes yes mm, yes I think um this one can stay this one can stay this one can stay and this one can stay okay I forgot about jackets so I'm bringing my regular jean jacket from forever 21 my favorite star jean jacket from Pistola Denim and my like green denim jacket from Zara. Almost forgot my rain jacket. That would be bad. I definitely need to bring that. Hats. Let's see. Maybe? No. No. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll bring that one. Ha, gotta bring that one every trip I go on. Mmm, yes, no, no, I don't really wear the rest of the ones in here, so I think I can safely say no to all those. I think I'll leave that out because that's kind of fashionable. This one I obviously have to have. This one can go back. Mmm, I think maybe bring that one. That, do I really need three? I don't need three hats, I don't wear them that much. That, okay. So now I have like a regular like <laughs> baseball hat material hat and an athletic material one, so that should be good. We are now in the process of putting everything in the laundry bins. This was Anne's idea, but we've got stuff to pack my lunches in, band-aids, um, and then just various decorations like this sign, book, clock, um, and then like things to hang on the wall Do you mug want to this? well I was gonna drink the water in it <laughs> um, and then I've got this little storage thing so I realized I don't have my jewelry holder so I'm probably just gonna put it all in here with this necklace that Isabel got me shout out to you Eva. Um, she got it for me for Christmas and I just now found it so I'm like the worst friend but I really like it I really really like it um, my ring light here and then this is all the stuff that I went through earlier today. White noise machine. Gotta have that. How could I? Oh, yes. Literally, how could I, I go without it? Hearing that sound from your um, room. Volcano candle. That's also that. kind of a must. Um, and then this thing is what I plan on putting all my like bathroom stuff in. I've got three pairs of sunglasses. Another capri blue candle. Um, a glass for like my toothbrush and stuff. This is actually like a tiny little inflatable pillow which I like to sleep with the pillow between my knees um but this one's really small so like it won't take up as much space um and then over here we've got my it's not actually a turby twist but like that's what people call them um that's like a hair towel thing washcloth towel beach towel um socks here underwear and like all of my athletic wear like tank tops and nike shorts and then let's see here i've got my digital camera bag with my sony and all my lenses and then here's my film camera bag um since what i'm doing is you know photography and stuff i obviously have to bring all of my camera gear so i was trying to figure out how to pack my imac which i have to bring because i have my editing software on there um and i'm not going to pay 300 dollars again to put it on my laptop um Plus I like editing better on here. So what we have devised is to, this is my pillow here. And it literally is the exact same size of my iMac, which is amazing. So we are going to like tape around here so that the pillow is like staying on the front. Cause I'm not as much worried about it like 
getting broken as I am the screen getting scratched since I think I'll be able to like secure it pretty well. Um, but I am honestly kind of proud of this solution. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, buddy. It's time to zip. They really say it takes a whole village to raise a child. But it also takes a whole village <laughs> to pack for one summer just internship. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to buckle it. We can just sip it. Oh, you have to. Oh. That wasn't bad at all. Hmm? No, we're not done yet. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. Not getting it down the stairs. Good morning, everybody. I am finally leaving. Um show you everything is all packed up the trunk is fully loaded I've got my suitcase this mirror ring light all of that good stuff that I showed you yesterday completely packed and then in the back seat we've got just about everything honestly I am pretty impressed with the amount of room that I have left um I thought it was gonna be like packed all the way like up to here but it's fine this is what I ended up doing for my computer and as you saw taped those pillows to it and I had to put it like upside down like here's the base um like in between the two seats um and then I've got just about everything I kind of threw things in a laundry basket it's actually more organized than it looks um decorative pillows there and then over on the other side I've got my race helmet which I almost forgot that would have been bad uh, my plant steamer there other fake plant sunshade see if I can barely open this extra clothes that I forgot to pack just like a uh, sweatshirt t-shirt my bin with all of my my underwear and stuff there uh, lotion, mouse pad. I almost forgot my mouse pad. I mean, I would have been fine without, but still. So yeah, everything is pretty well packed up. I don't think things are going to go flying when I'm driving. Um, we'll see. Okay, so I'm currently editing this video and I realized that I forgot to film an outro as always. So here I am to do that and I'm all moved into my new apartment. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You can kind of see a little bit of it in the background and yes i will be doing an apartment slash room tour soon so be excited for that but i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this video i know it was super long um like a lot of my other videos are but i feel that it's so hard to condense packing for a month and a half into like less than 25 or less than 20 minutes um so hopefully my other ones in the coming future won't be that long but yeah if you're not subscribed subscribe down below and turn on my notifications so that you can see my new videos also follow me on my social media specifically instagram i think i'm gonna get some really good instagram posts while i'm up here and i'm super excited to share all of my fun experiences with you guys i was literally walking around like exploring the city today and like it is so cute so the gram is hopefully gonna be popping. I don't know why I just did that popping while I'm here. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye guys.